Yes, tell me about the uh, testing. Yeah, we we done the the XJS had now come to fruit, and uh, we're now going to produce this. So I got the first uh, first one development car and uh, started testing, and developing it, and got it all brakes all finished, steering, most of it all done, handling, and um, before signing it off. Uh, Bob Norris said, are you satisfied with it? I said, yes, at the moment. He said, well, Jim Randall's um, worked out uh, the stiffness for the rear that uh, it'll need a roll bar. Now, I, that I'd been driving on without the roll bar. Anyway, we introduced the roll bar onto it. I go to Myra and I tested it and we lost quite a bit of the input roll. You do need a certain amount of roll to hold the car on the road. We'd now lost a quite a bit of that and it was on more or less on a, on, a, on a stiff suspension movement. So it was breaking away much easier. So I came back and I said to Bob Knight, I said, no, we don't need a roll bar. So he said, well, better get Jim Randall in. So he got Jim Randall in and said, look, Norman's decided we don't need the roll bar on the rear. So there's going to be a cost saving there. Jim Randall said, no, no, I've calculated we do need it. And uh, he said, as a matter of fact, he said, the order's gone in to the manufacturers to produce it. He said, uh, they'll be making it for production. Although it's not, the car's not quite in production yet, he said, we've got to release all the stuff quantity for production for the first build. He said, no, I've released it. I said, well, I'm sorry, Jim, but we don't need it. So Bob Knight, in his usual calm manner, he never saw Bob get frustrated. He said, look, look, gentlemen, don't let's fall out over it. We'll go to Myra tomorrow. See you there, Norman, and uh, Jim and I will come over and have a look at it. I said, fine. I said, that's the best way to do it. So I get her to Myra, and there they, they come over, and... Uh, I've got the roll bar on, still connected, for, as they'd left it. So Bob got in the car and away we went. We did a number two circuit, which has uh, got left and right hand bends. I take it through the bends and it's breaking away at the rear very quickly and it's almost sideways on, spinning, almost spinning. I did about 10 laps of that and Bob said, that's okay, <laughs> okay, okay. I said, now we'll disconnect it. So we disconnect it, take him out. I'm quicker through the corners, the car's steady. Still got a, enough oversteer just to be controllable, yeah. just right. Yeah. He said, yes, all right, Norman, thank you very much. We get back to the garage and he said, uh, I think Norman's right. Jim said, well, I, I'm not quite satisfied. He said, well, go with the car now, with Norman, do it. So we do the on off with Jim Rundle. Then when we get back with Jim he gets out and uh, Bob said uh, what do you think? Well of course Jim's got to substantiate his his findings of position and although I'm pretty certain he agreed with us he didn't want to fully agree and he said well um, I still I still think we could fit it because he said we've ordered it and and so I just put my finger over and said, Jim, if you fit that, if you release that roll bar, it's on your head. There's no need for it. It's a cost saving. I said, and I saw Bob Knight get hold of him, take him over. He said, look, let's listen to Norman. He's right. He said he's proved his point. The car's better without it. The car's it. better without it. And uh, he said, if you upset him anymore, he said he'll walk off. <laughs> he said he, he, he just won't sign it up. Good man. So, the three of us there in the garage, Bob said, so come on Jim, what do you want? He said, well look, the order's gone in, I can't, can't re retract it. Uh, can we just fit a thin roll bar just to complete it as, as so released, there, really as released. And so that's what we did. Yeah. And so you'll find uh, the roll bar on the rear isn't required, really. No. Did they ever stop stop it altogether? I, Once no, maybe the order, I don't know, 
it's the contract that you spawned. No, or I, st- I, I still think it went through with right, it. Okay. Right, okay. I think everyone had it right, on. Okay, but it, it wasn't doing anything. No, but it was just to carry out uh, the contract with the uh, with the people, yeah. suppliers. Yeah. But again, it's one of those things that uh, happen, and um, I mean, if you've got an XJS, you don't need the roll bar, you stick it off. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> got me in the garage. Um, <laughs> have you got a roll bar? I don't room? know, I've never looked. <laughs> oh, no doubt I have. have it, no, you'll probably find you've got one. It's yeah. an early one, it's, oh. a, it's a PHE, oh, well, so really, it's, it's yeah. the one you would have been testing. Yeah, you'll probably find it's got it on, yeah. Why? Is the power steering so light on these cars? Because let me just say, <coughs> for me, the fact the engine's so quiet, the fact the car is so smooth, and the fact you can turn the steering with your little finger, I absolutely love. Mm. It suits the car. Mm. But the only thing that the road testers would ever pick up on, the power steering too light for our tastes. That's what they would often say. Mm. No, no, it was, uh, they're quite right in, in their tastes. What you've got to remember is, always, Sir William, when we were doing a new model, always said to me, Dewis, all your testing and developing, make sure they're happy with it and it, it meets American requirements, their taste. Right, OK. Now, as you know... That's what they liked. They like a one fingers power steering, yeah. they don't like manual transmission, they don't like a heavy brake pedal. No. So all the time, whilst I agree it probably was a bit too light for us Europeans, that's what it was for I America. Love it. So I love it. <laughs> I, I it just, had to, add, just I, adds to the luxury of the I car. Had to, I had to keep in mind that the car was going to be... See, all 80% of our production was going to no, America. Yeah. We were the big dollar earners, yeah. I mean, in those years. And uh, the old man was quite right. Yeah. I said to him once before, when he said, again, when we was doing a new model, he said, don't forget, we've got to satisfy the Americans, do this, whatever they want. I said to him on occasion, I said, well, what about the European market? And then straight away, I'm not bothered about the European <laughs> market, do it. We're not, but it's the American market we've got to do. And he yeah. was... Quite right. Well, he's right. That's his, right. Biggest, that's his biggest customer. So right. that's why you had a very light power steering and we we worked more and more on getting away with the manual gearbox and doing yeah. the development on the yeah. on the uh, automatic transmissions, yeah. uh, light brake pedal and everything yes. so like that. That's, yeah. That was mainly for the well, American market. Well, it just market. added to the whole refinement and, and I mean, of the it, car. Beautiful. We worked it well because the Americans love the car. Yeah. They, they, they loved driving it, it was beautiful, it fitted their standard of yeah. driving. Yeah. And that's what it was all about. Yeah. And it was you English. Know. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, fantastic. Nice boulevard ride, yeah, they don't like right. hard, no. bumpy rides. So that, that's... That was that. That's You're quite right, uh, uh, the Europeans uh, probably well, that's didn't, the only thing didn't, that didn't uh, accept it to, to the extent of, you know, it's too light, but it wasn't too light for the Americans, no. they loved it. You how see. did you, you must have been, I mean, how do I put this? I've been 120 in this, yeah. and with that steering, it mm. is a bit hairy for me. Oh, yeah, probably so. I, I, obviously not for you. No, 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 no. It just. But there again, you see, in America, they weren't driving at 120 no, mile an no, hour. No, that's right. And everywhere they, is they a straight had, line, isn't it? They, they had these, uh, even on the highways, they, they were only doing 70, yeah, that's right, 70 yeah. probably 80, but yeah. no more. No. Yes, Europe, yes, Germany, autobahns or here in, on the motorways, people were doing 90, 100, but in America, no no more than sort of 80 more. No, that's right, yeah. So they didn't experience these sort of no. things. 